The Milwaukee Journal Sentinel's Preps Plus is brought to you by Boston Store. Brands you love, quality and value you deserve. Buy, pick and save, new every day. By Freighter and the Medical College of Wisconsin, with three hospitals, over 25 locations, and more than 2,000 doctors. Find one close to you. By Robert Hack Diamonds, paying cash for gold, silver, and diamonds at Robert Hack Diamonds. By Bryant and Stratton College. Have a calling to help others? A career in nursing could be right for you. Learn more about careers in healthcare at bryantstratton.edu. And by Menards. Save big money at Menards on all your home improvement needs. Hi, and welcome to Preps Plus. This week we're in pirate country, Pewaukee High School. Hi, I'm Mark Stewart, prep editor of the Milwaukee Journal Sentinel. And I'm Lance Allen from today's TMJ4. We will feature the Pewaukee girls basketball team and have the game of the year in the Milwaukee City Conference Boys Hoops. If you've had Olympic fever the past couple of weeks, you will really like the way we start today's show. This week we visit the Pettit Center where we're going to meet an outstanding figure skater who excels in many other areas as well. Here's Brad Preter with the Boston Store Feature Student Athlete. I love the feeling of my blades gliding on the ice and feeling the wind past your face is really cool. Samantha Poole seems more likely to talk about her love for figure skating than about her achievements in the sport. Just watching Sammy on the ice lets you know what a talented skater she is. She has a gold medal and it's called Moves in the Field, a gold medal in dance, and now she's working for her third gold medal. Poole is 16 years old and a junior at Homestead High School. Skating here at the Pettit Center, she combines the pageantry and emotion of figure skating with the physical strength and skills that are required. It's a great like stress reliever. Whenever I'm stressed, I just like to skate it out. Obviously, it takes a lot of dedication to perform the way Sammy does here on the ice, but her training schedule alone would be enough to scare off most teenagers. I get up around 4.40 to skate before school. I get here around uh, 5.40 and I warm up and then I take, I put my skates on and then I'm on the ice by six. Sometimes I lay in bed and I'm like, oh, why do I do this? But I end up getting up and by the time I get to the rink, I'm ready to go and I'm excited and motivated. After her morning skate, Sammy, of course, heads off to school. When the school day is done, it's time for homework. Enough time to be an honor student. School always comes first. It's kind of our mantra because, you know, school gets you probably further in life than skating well. Once homework is done, Sammy gets back to working out. Running, elliptical, weightlifting, whatever will help her here on the ice. Sammy's siblings are a big part of her motivation. She's a triplet. Her brother skates on the Homestead hockey team, and her sister is a gymnast for the Highlanders. I get home and Alex is running off to hockey and Tori's still at gymnastics. So it's um, pretty chaotic, but we always sit down and have dinner together and we always talk about our, our sports and it's very competitive. Sammy is very grateful to her parents for all the rides to and from the Pettit and all the other places she goes to work out and compete. When she's not on or above the ice, Sammy is active in several school clubs that promote positive messages. She's also taken part in a number of charitable skating events. At the Bradley Center and in West Bend, different areas where she skates for, say, St. Jude's Hospital or one of the other Milwaukee hospitals. It's very fun to use my passion to help others. I think that's a great thing to do. A big event Sammy is looking forward to is Skate Milwaukee, which will be held at the Kern Center this summer. Now here's Colleen Heider from Boston Star with a special award for Sammy. Sammy, for all you do in school, for your sport, and in your community, Boston Store is proud to present you with the Preps Plus Student Athlete of the Week Award. Thank Congratulations. <laughs>
Get the kitchen of your dreams with LG Appliances from Menards. Right now, all major kitchen appliances are on sale, so it's the perfect time for an update. Start with this stainless steel smooth top convection range with five cooktop elements and a 6.3 cubic foot baking area, now $798. This extra large capacity French door stainless steel refrigerator is Energy Star rated and has a built-in premium water filtration system, $2,397. Save big money at Menards. Nurses make a real difference in people's lives. Let Bryant and Stratton College make one in your life. Receive the personal career-focused education you need to earn your nursing degree in two years or less. Learn in industry current medical labs and get practical experience in an internship. Over 88% of our nursing students pass the NCLEX RN exam. Plus, you can start your nursing education as soon as next semester. So join the many Bryant and Stratton College nursing graduates working throughout Milwaukee. To get started, call or click today. Right. Welcome back to Preps Plus, the Journal Sentinel's high school sports show. And Lance, it's that time of the show where we're about to see Pewaukee's talented girls basketball team. Let's roll the Preps Plus highlights with the Pirates, brought to you by Bryant and Stratton College. Pewaukee entered this Friday night showdown with one loss in the season. That was at the hands of Pius a couple weeks ago. The Lady Popes are hoping to join their boys team as Woodland West Conference champs. Ashley Pitroff connects for three from the corner as Pius jumps out to the early lead. Pewaukee's leading scorer, sophomore Abby Garretts, goes strong to the basket and finishes here, but Pius did a great job keeping her in check. Pius junior Gabby Green can really dish it out, like this no-look feed to Olivia Freckman. Second quarter, Katie Wood finds Danielle Jasinski for the open jumper, and the Pirates have their first lead. Later, Katie Wood fires for three and connects, but Pius was hitting from beyond the arc as well. Like this one by sophomore Mandy Simborski to close out the second quarter, Pius up four at the half. In the third, Simborski fights for the loose ball and puts it in as she hits the deck. Lady Popes lead by three after three. It's a one possession game. But the Pewaukee offense would stall in the fourth while Pius kept on hitting. Ashley Pitroff for another three ball. And then Gabby Green with the spin move. Pius wins it 49-32. They clinch at least a share of the conference title and can take it outright by winning one of their two games next week. For the past two years, we've tied for conference. And this year, we just really wanted to win it ourselves. They're an offensive machine. I mean, and, and we practice hard against their, their offense and try and stop our girls in practice and it, it's tough I mean they're good so we're very fortunate to beat them on their home floor tonight. Heritage Christian is looking for their fourth consecutive Midwest Classic Championship with a win tonight over Lake Country Lutheran and a sweep in the season series they'll be in great shape for that. Meanwhile if the Lightning get the win they'll have the season split and be tied for the top spot. The state's number four team in D5 was shorthanded for this one as Lady Patriot guard Ramaya Bennett with her 23 point average was out with a sprained thumb and the Lightning took full advantage. Jackie DeWerf with a nice move and she drains the jumper 21-12 late country after one. Heritage Christian rallies in the second. Mariana Bautista gets past the entire Lightning team on this land. Patriots within seven at half. Third quarter, Lady Pat hang tough. Off the inbound, Batista with the lay-in to cut the lead to four. The Lightning then lose the Wurf to a serious ankle injury, but rally for their fallen teammate. Abby Carlson with the perfect pass to Gabrielle Simons for the gimme. The Lake Country lead grows to nine. Later, it's Carlson with the steal and Mary Hurt with the rebound bucket. Hurt had a game high 19 points as she became Lake Country Lutheran's all-time leading scorer. The Lightning even the season series with the Patriots with an impressive 52-41 win. We wanted to play LCL basketball and I think we really showed that tonight. Um, we worked great as a team and we really accomplished what we wanted to. There was a lot on the line when the Kettle Moraine boys basketball team wrapped up its regular season. The Lasers meet Classic 8 rival McGuanago in the Menards Game of the Week.
Kettle Moraine had the chance to win its first Classic 8 Conference title outright. Standing in their way, host McGuanagall. Hey, don't be so serious there, pal. First quarter action, McGuanagall inbounds to Dominic Sazowskis. Soft touch off the glass. The Lasers respond by kicking the ball out to Paul Miller for three. He's good. Two-point game after one quarter. Nice work here in the corner by Aaron Nixon. One fake, then another. Then Nixon hits Dane McDermott, who connects from deep. The Indians would build an eight-point lead. Kettle Moraine answers. Seven-foot Daniel Garretts blocks Mitchell Olson's shot, but Garretts can't recover in time to stop Ben Barrett from scoring. Kettle Moraine leads by one at the half. Third quarter, McGuanagall on the move, but this time it's Ben Varick blocking the shot. That triggers a break the other way, and Paul Miller will finish the play in style. Closing seconds of the quarter, Miller steps up from way out. Book it. Lasers lead by five, headed to the fourth. McGuanagall trying to keep pace. Special delivery here from Aaron Nixon to Ryan Wagner, who throws it down. Check out the great pass here. Mitch Pfeiffer catches and fires to Paul Miller, who pushes the lead to seven. Moments later, it's Miller dishing down low to Mitchell Olsen for the easy two. Kettle Moraine goes on to win at 61-56, claiming their first Classic 8 title outright. Finally, uh, it just feels so good. I mean, this was our goal from day one, and I mean, obviously the crowd, I mean, the atmosphere is crazy right now, so. We couldn't be happier. It's a tribute to a lot of hard work with the kids, a lot of parents throughout the years putting in time. And, uh, you know, these guys, they just got out and got it all year. They just they got it done. I thought we ended the first half really good, and then we carried that into the, into the second half. We started off really strong, and then we finished great. We had the lead, and we played with the lead, and we got it done. If you're waiting for highlights from the King Hamilton Showdown, don't worry, it's coming up in just a little bit. And of course, this week we got boys basketball regionals on tap. And for in-depth coverage, be sure to go to jsonline.com. Now sit tight, like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter. Preps Plus will be right back. Good timing is a tricky business. A bell doesn't ring when the fruit is ripe. At Pick and Safe, time equals freshness. You can taste it in the produce we source the beef we grind fresh in our stores and in the products we bake daily getting the timing right every minute every hour every meal pick and save new every day who do you trust when selling your gold silver and diamonds robert hack diamonds was secret shop by the media and they found out that Robert Hack Diamonds offer the most for their jewelry. At Robert Hack Diamonds, we'll treat you like family. Shop around before you sell. If we can't compete, a competitor's offer on your scrap gold, we'll give you $20 just for trying. Be your gold, I'll get you some money. Robert Hack Diamonds is located at 76 and Layton in Greenfield and our newest location on the corner of Green Tree and Port Washington Road in Glendale. What would make your doctor, your everyday doctor, an extraordinary everyday doctor? Well, if they're part of Freighter and the Medical College of Wisconsin's Health Network, that's exactly what they'd be. Why? Because your doctor would be connected to the region's only academic medical center, and so would you. Renowned specialists, more treatment options only academic medicine can offer. We have over 200 primary care doctors in more than 20 locations, so there's bound to be one close. Call to find the right doctor for you. Save $1,000 on your college tuition. The Dan Jansen Scholarship Fund, supported by Boston Store, will award two $1,000 Preps Plus college scholarships to high school seniors from the 2014 graduating class. To fill out your Preps Plus scholarship application form, please visit www.jsonline.com slash scholarship starting now. Hurry, completed applications must be received by Saturday, March 15th. Every week on Preps Plus, we extend beyond the Preps level into the professional ranks. This week, we meet Mike Leambus of the Milwaukee Admirals as Pick and Save presents From Preps to Pro. Mark, get on your mark.
there's so many kids that are playing hockey that there's always someone working harder than you and trying to steal your job, so you always got to have that in your mind. I'm pretty proud to say I have a pretty cool family, pretty tight-knit family. I come from uh, a European family. My dad's from Greece, my mom's from Italy, and my mom's a baby of nine, and you know, we have a, a lot of cousins and aunts and uncles, and uh, it's pretty cool to grow up with something like that. I got great brothers and a great set of parents that um, if it wasn't for them, I wouldn't be where I am today. That large family had some questions when Liambus left his home in Ontario to play junior hockey in Erie, Pennsylvania. You know, all my aunts and uncles or, you know, my grandparents are all like, what are you guys doing? Why are you letting him leave? He's still only 16. And, and then having a deal with, you know, growing up in a, in a hurry faster than normal kids do. Liambus went through a challenging stretch while playing junior hockey. Just a few games into his final season of juniors and having recovered from two hip surgeries, Liambus was suspended for the remainder of the season for delivering a crushing hit that injured an opposing player. So it was a pretty, pretty tough time in my life. But um, you know, whether it was clean or not, it, it doesn't really matter. It's over with now, and like I said, I wouldn't change a thing that happened because it made me who I am today. Looking back on it now, all those negative things that happen in your life just make you such a bigger person, and they make you grow up, like I said, a lot faster, and they make you appreciate the highs, you know, if you've seen those really lows. While he may have built a tough guy reputation over the years on the ice, Liambus has also received credit for being a good student and a person of strong character. He's always had the support of his parents and family, especially during the tough times, and he's gotten advice that he's taken to heart. I was told uh, to love what you do and you'll never work a day in your life, and so far it's been working out for me. The Arrowhead Gymnastics team is ranked number one in the area by the Journal Sentinel, and this week we honor them on our show. Here's April Boblin with the Robert Hack Diamonds Team of the Week. Heavy emphasis is often placed on the individual in a sport like gymnastics, but the Arrowhead Girls Gymnastics team is just that, a team first and foremost. The focus here is obviously on doing well about in gymnastics, but it's also about having fun and bonding with the girls. I mean, every other team I've been on, no one really cared how you did as a team. They cared about how I did individually or how the girl next to me did individually. Whereas here, individual is nice, but they want the team score. Having a lot of talent on a team, there's, um, of course, there's like a little bit of competition, but I think ultimately we push each other and we just, we want our team to be the best it can be. And if that means maybe you don't get a chance to compete, then that's what it means, as long as you're putting the team first and kind of striving for goals as a whole versus individuals. The girls develop a bond over the season, and a lot of it comes from, you know, um, a lot of it comes from us falling or the jokes or the goofing around. But, you know, um, I always talk about, uh, as with gymnasts, you know, end of the day, you get, you get your hardware, you get your medals and stuff like that, but you don't remember that. You remember, the little weird things you did or the funny things that happened or when stuff didn't go as planned and, and how you bounced back from it or how you complimented that. Mm -hmm. And uh, I think the girls hang on to that. So if you get a little bit more of that here with this being a team sport and not so much of an individual uh, action as it is in the club. Arrowhead has been consistently ranked number one this season and even boasts a new school record of 148 points which they've increased twice this year. Uh, when we hit our big score at Westosha, we had a little team meeting with the girls and we said that this would not be our highest score this season, that we would want that to be a benchmark of something to build off of. And so we've been working very hard to try and do that and we've been able to replicate it once and haven't had a full squad since. We don't ever want to stop building. Just bigger, better, stronger. We want um, higher scores, we want to keep pushing that. Basically, we just want everyone to get out there, do their best and um, you know, work, work as a team to complete our goals. Congratulations Arrowhead Gymnastics for being this week's Robert Hack Diamonds Team of the Week. Mark, it was probably the most anticipated game of the year in the Milwaukee City Conference. And we'll have the highlights next on Preps Plus. 
at the previous college that I attended, I didn't feel comfortable, I didn't feel welcomed, and I didn't feel like I had the help that I needed. I chose Bryant and Stratton College because of the small class size and the one-on-one -on -one teacher and student interaction. Before you even graduate, Career Services will set you up with interviews. I am a private charter broker. I love my job, I love how far I've come, and I couldn't have done it without the help of Bryant and Stratton College. Going to Bryant and Stratton would make a tremendous difference in anybody's life. For every product, there's a window of opportunity. The right time to catch it, cut it, pick it, and bake it. At Pick and Save, that's why we continuously stock and prepare fresh foods in our stores daily, getting the timing right. Every minute, every hour, every meal. Pick and Save, new every day. Who do you trust when buying your jewelry? Brad Yulberg here, and I can tell you at Robert Hack Diamonds, we will treat you fair and like family. We have thousands of diamonds in stock, thousands of pieces of jewelry, and prices from under $50 to over $50,000. Come to Robert Hack Diamonds for a relaxed and enjoyable jewelry buying experience. Shop around before you buy. Robert Hack Diamonds is located at 76 in Lathan and Greenfield, and our new location on the corner of Green Tree and Port Washington Road in Glendale. Come to Robert Hack Diamonds. Imagine, you're diagnosed with something serious. How far would you go to find the best treatments? The best doctors? A hundred miles? A thousand? How about right in your neighborhood? With Freighterd and the Medical College of Wisconsin's Health Network, renowned physicians and breakthrough treatments are practically outside your door. Three hospitals, over 25 locations, and more than 2,000 doctors all connected to the region's only academic medical center. Now what is possible is closer than ever. Call to find the right doctor for you. Add style to your bathroom with a new Pace vanity from Menards, all on sale. This Murano vanity has an elegant satin black finish, $199. This Roma vanity made with alder and an autumn cherry finish features slow-close drawers, $298. Finish your bathroom with a complete toilet from Elger. They include everything you need in one box. The tall elongated Belmont is $159. And the tall elongated Diplomat is $178. Save big money at Menards. Did you know approximately half of youth pitchers report some level of elbow or shoulder pain at least once during the season? Joining us is Dr. William Roche, orthopedic surgeon, director of sports medicine at the Freighter and the Medical College of Wisconsin Sports Medicine Center, and team physician for the Milwaukee Brewers. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you for having me. There are a lot of all-stars out there and want to be all-stars out there among the little leaguers. Tell us what are some of the biggest mistakes you see for kids who are throwing? Probably for the young kids, it's just throwing too much. Uh, shoulder, elbow, we're never designed to throw baseballs the way we do today and you can you can create overuse injuries so just backing off on the number of pitches they throw oftentimes takes care of the problem. Let's talk about treatment what are some things they can do if they are injured? Well first off you stop the throwing and that doesn't mean stopping uh, baseball altogether but maybe going to first base or just swinging the bat. If that doesn't work then there's physical therapy to strengthen the shoulder and strengthen the elbow. Finally uh, you can do motion analysis to see what they're doing wrong or surgery if you can't make them better with those things. All right Dr. Roche thanks so much for being with us. My pleasure. To learn more about the Freighter and the Medical College of Wisconsin Sports Medicine Center, visit freighter.com slash sports. UCLA recruit Kevon Looney had his Hamilton Wildcats in position for a conference title but it'd be a tough battle against a very steady King squad. Scott Babbler has all the action in the Preps Plus Spotlight. It just does not get much better than this. A late season battle of unbeatens in the city conference. Milwaukee King ranked number two in the state, hosting Milwaukee Hamilton and superstar Kevon Looney. The UCLA-bound senior is averaging 26 points a game, and the Wildcats have won 10 straight. Meanwhile, Red Hot King has 17 victories in a row, 
but it was Hamilton who had the upper hand early. This corner three by Jalen Addison finds nothing but net. Cats on a 9-0 run up five. Then Looney gets in the act. This turnaround J caps a strong first quarter for Hamilton as they lead 20 to eight. The Generals try to mount a comeback, but it's hard with the big guy roaming the middle. Here Looney rejects this layup attempt by Diamante Freeman. King coach Jim Gaz trying anything to light a fire under his troops, and the Generals respond. First, it's Jamel Posey draining this three ball. Then it's Chris Howell driving for a slam with authority. Finally, it's Posey from long range one more time. King pulls within three, down just 36-33 at the half. And the Generals keep that momentum in the third. Posey from downtown one more time. King with their first lead since the opening minutes. But Looney had something to say about that. Here he goes baseline for the reverse. Pats back on top, but King closes the quarter in style. Marquise Turner follows his own miss with this three-pointer at the buzzer. 55-53 Generals after three. And this slugfest only got better in the fourth. First, it's Looney showing his versatility with this three ball from way outside to put Hamilton back on top. Later, it's Howell finding the lane wide open as he lays it in to give King a two-point lead with 1.30 to play. Now tied once again, Looney draws three defenders and makes the perfect dish to Jamad Norwood for the easy deuce. Wildcats back up two. Looney seals it with free throws. He had a game high 26 points as Hamilton takes over first place in the city, upsetting the Generals 76-72. Yeah, I tell myself I couldn't, I couldn't lose this game. I've been waiting on this opportunity for uh, my whole career, and I told myself I couldn't lose, and I got the W. I'm speechless right now, man. It just feels great to win, be king, and be city champs, man. I just big accomplishment. Icing on the cake for the victorious Wildcats was Looney becoming the 23rd player in Wisconsin state history to score 2,000 points. Yes, it was a great accomplishment, man. Uh, I didn't know about it to this year. My coach was telling me about it. Um, once I seen it, I wanted to go for it. Uh, my teammates tell me in my whole four years here. He's an all-around player. He deserved the honor that he got. All-American. He showed it tonight. Thanks for joining us this week. But remember, next week we go back to our regular time slot, 11 o'clock on Sunday nights, right here on today's TMJ4. Before we go, we got to offer congratulations to the Pewaukee wrestling team for earning a trip to the state team tournament. Till next time, I'm Mark Stewart. And I'm Lance Allen. See you next time on the Milwaukee Journal Sentinels Preps Plus. Guys, the floor is yours. The Milwaukee Journal Sentinels Preps Plus is brought to you by Boston Store. Brands you love, quality and value you deserve. Buy, pick and save. New every day. By Frederick the Medical College of Wisconsin with three hospitals, over 25 locations and more than 2,000 doctors. Find one close to you. Buy Robert Hack Diamonds, paying cash for gold, silver and diamonds at Robert Hack Diamonds. Buy Bryant and Stratton College. Have a calling to help others? A career in nursing could be right for you. Learn more about careers in healthcare at bryantstratton.edu. And by Menards. Save big money at Menards on all your home improvement needs.